In this Photoshop tutorial, you're going to learn how to seamlessly blend multiple photos together using Adobe's Generative Fill AI tools. So let's begin just with a new document. I've just got one that's 1920 by 1080 pixels wide, and I've just dragged and imported two different photos in. So I've got one photo on the left and one photo on the right. You can arrange things however you want, but uh, I've also sort of cut out and cropped part of this photo because it was wider and I just arranged them side by side. I'm sure that you can figure out how to do this part. So I have those two layers together and then all I'm going to do to start seamlessly blending is go to layer, new layer. So I'll just be working on a new layer. I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and I will select a selection between where that uh, cut happens. Um, I'm not really selecting the people, so I don't mess with them. And I'll just right click generative fill. Now you can add prompts, but if we just leave it blank, it will just try to generate something that it thinks combines these two areas together. Of course, it's not always going to be realistic. I'm blending two very different photos together. I mean, completely different locations. This one's got a mountain in it, but somehow it does come up with some sort of blend. And if you go to the in the property section, you can choose different variations. So this is just the first one, but if you want, you can see what else sort of options it, it's come up with. This one added a cool little curb that somehow goes into this mountain valley. Um, and it sort of works, you know, it just sort of works. And so another thing that I'll even take it further just to show you the power of making these compositions. Uh, let's drag, if I dragged another photo in there, I'll, all I've done is sort of transformed it with command T, dragged it in and I'll press enter. And I just sort of will delete or mask out this part with uh, that's covering our subject. So just erase, it'll ask me to rasterize this smart layer, press delete. And on this section, I'm just going to create another new layer on top of everything and just create a selection that hits these harsh borders and I'll right click and generative fill. I can probably even repeat this process a couple times or if I want just to go to my traditional Photoshop working tools, I can do some human touch ups. So I'll click on the generative fill layer mask and using my brush tool on a really soft setting, I can use the bracket keys to increase or decrease the size, quick little shortcut. But uh, maybe I can mask out some of this generative fill. And maybe even on the original layer, I can go to layer, layer mask, reveal all, maybe get rid of most of that dark sky. And, you know, we added a little waterfall scene instead. And these three pictures together really made no sense together. But using generative fill, we still created some seamless blends. So get creative with it. My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know what you thought and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.